In the world of politics and policy, this Sir Award winner has bridged the gap of political discourse with endless energy, hard work, and a life built on listening, learning, and teaching. One of her biggest assets is that she, she really gets, she's a learner. And so she learns about you and what your needs are and what your message is and where you need help. And I think in a position such as Jeanette's, a lot of people are good talkers, but they're not very good listeners. She's even good about following minute details to make other people look better than they truly deserve. And I'm probably one of them. The industry itself is very, very, very fortunate to have Jeanette um, be on our side. And I'm glad that the boys are finally recognizing all of the accomplishments that she has done and will continue to do in the legislative world. Born in Germany, Jeanette Bells moved with her father Eric and mother Alice to upstate New York, where she was raised with her sister Nicole and began her pursuit of the learning life. Well, first of all, Jeanette always does her homework. She researches the issue and she can approach people and tell them both sides of the issue. She's always a continual learner, and she's always expanding and, and learning people's stories and figuring out how it ties together. Jeanette has been instrumental in bringing people to the table to have conversations. Um, many of the times she has to be a mediator and have people look at all different sides of an issue. And at the end of the day, because she has the facts and figures behind her, people listen to her and they, um, they trust her and they know um, all the good qualities that um, she is fighting for. You know, she could uh, explain it in cowboy math, which is great for me, and uh, get right down to the bottom line and, and, and explain what, what her side of it was, her issues were. Striking out on her own as a contract lobbyist in 2000, she became the chapter's legislative strategist and political bellwether in the middle of the 2001 session. What you realize is there's more to the construction industry than just building. You have to do, you have to be involved with the government. Uh, Jeanette was our lead and on a slippery slope arena. Jeanette's a real pistol. Um, I will tell you that she's not afraid to stand up to many. She brings good facts um, to any discussion and she will fight you tooth and nail to have her voice heard. You could tell when you were going to be on opposite sides of it. She'd set her jaw and her eyes would start to get dark and you'd better either get ready to back up your position, withdraw it, or get ready for an argument. She's not meek at all. When she feels strongly about an issue, she is everything but meek. It doesn't matter who the person is. A couple of times she's helped tune me up a little bit. She dove in to tackle the tough issues, construction defects, highway funding, workforce education, worker compensation, and regulatory reforms. One of the first things that we worked on were the regulation process and how the regulations are actually adopted. And I will tell you, Nevada is a better place because Jeanette was able to change that process um, so that people are more aware of things that are getting done. Jeanette was the key player in passing legislation in 2009, which followed up for question five in 2008 to put a uh, ballot issue before the public in Washoe County to index the cost of gasoline. That resulted in about $435 million worth of work in Washoe County. Her support of the community is behind the scenes, teaching today's youth about the legislative process, mediating disputes, and, especially for young women, how to embark on their own life of learning and a successful career. We do a lot of legislative tours at Ace High School, and you know, she comes on every single one of them because she loves it. And um, she's passionate about doing something for youth that's positive. And believing in the industry like she does, she believes in preparing kids for this industry. The skills of mediation and lobbying, I think, are very uh, similar. And Jeanette has been very effective in getting other groups to work with us when our needs were similar. And it broadens a coalition and makes it a more effective for partnering. Jeanette Bells's impact on the Nevada Chapter AGC the construction industry, and her adopted community epitomize skill, integrity, and responsibility. 
you know, she believes in the community. I know she believes in the arts that we have here and the culture, and um, and, and she's definitely an advocate for youth, and, and and I think that's part of why she does so much for us. And and you know, you get a lot of a lot of other lobbyists out there that are more BS than they are work, and I think that's what sets her above everyone else is the fact that there was no BS. She's as honest as days long. She'll go shoulder to shoulder with you to, to, for the cause. I think it's critical that we have a lobbyist who is well respected by the people that she would have to deal with. Jeanette has earned the respect of not just her peers, other lobbyists, but legislators, government officials, and particularly the people in AGC. She's a very effective and capable spokesman for AGC, and we're lucky to have her represent us. Jeanette Bells, the Sir Award.